Just got a $50 question, so we'll take that first. Have the good times the West has enjoyed over the last century created complacency? Many people I know don't seem to know how good they have it and embrace ideas that are eroding individual rights, which they always have always been integrated integral to human flourishing. Yes, I mean, there's a certain sense in which it's complacency. Uh, there's a certain sense in which life is too comfortable for people to be willing to be challenged by controversial, radical ideas, right? It's much easier to listen to Jordan Peterson, who's not challenging, he's challenging you only at the margin, who's challenging you within the framework of conventionality, within the framework where you don't have to be, you know, challenge everything that, that is known. Because when life is comfortable, then, then it's easy to be lazy intellectually. It's easy to succumb to the conventional. So I do think there's complacency. And you're absolutely right. Because we don't teach history, because uh, particularly Americans don't travel much, they don't see the world, they don't know how people live in other places, they take it for granted. And then somebody like Tucker Carlson comes on and says, oh, America is a great country because we have kind people who are religious, who are believe the specs, uh, and because nature is beautiful then nobody's educating them about what to make America great, why we're rich and Cambodia's poor. They have no concept. And why we were poor 250 years ago, they have no concept that the founding fathers were poor. They have no concept what that means. They see Gone with the Wind, and in Gone with the Wind, you don't see them going and defecating outdoors and using leaves as toilet paper because there was no toilet paper. There was no running water. There was no toilets. The, none of this existed in, well, Gone with, yeah, even in Gone with the Wind, right? They were not flushing toilets, but you don't see that. And, and, and unless I say that, nobody, it never occurs to people that it didn't exist. Then you have people say, yeah, there was life before an iPhone. They don't really conceptualize what that means, but life before toilets, life before toilet paper, life before running water, life, they have no conception of that. They have no idea what that means. Life in the mud, life before a mattress, Life sleeping on the floor. There's no conceptual context for any of that. So, and nobody teaches them history. And now you're seeing a massive whitewashing of history where the dark ages are not dark. Turns out, wow, they were amazing, the dark ages. You would love to live in the dark ages. I mean, it's, it's just, by the way, all by conservatives are doing the whitewashing of the dark ages. That's cons religious conservatives. Um, so they have no context. And that leads to complacency. That leads to lack of understanding. That leads to, uh, uh, and nobody, but again, nobody teaches them. I mean, to me, the villains are the um, Paul Krugman's and Tucker Carlson's of the world. The intellectuals, the communicators, the people who are, telling people about the state of the world and giving them a little bit of history about lessons in history and all of that, that, those are the villains, right? Those are the villains. Not, it's the professors at universities, it's the teachers. It's not the individuals who are complacent. They're not the villains. The villains who lead are the people who lead them to that complacency. History is determined by intellectuals. And if you look at the intellectuals today, if you look at television, if you look at the internet, if you, they are the bad guys and, and they're leading us down this horrific path. And when they're cowardly intellectuals who might know that there's something better, but afraid to look like some of these guys, that's even worse. That's even worse. That's why I respect people who are willing to interview me because that takes courage. It takes them thinking out of the box. It takes them willing to be non-conventional that even if they don't agree, it just, you know, it's, it means a lot when somebody is sitting there challenging all the conventional beliefs that are out there. So I, I have a huge amount of respect for people who interview me, even if they don't agree with me, even if they go, they change their minds, even if they never agree with me. It's, it, it, it takes a lot in the culture in which we live to be non-conventional. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman 
who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>